This is the last frame to start creating our video. So let's get started. Welcome jewelry creators. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a video rendering using matrix nine and the tools they have to create video. So let's jump into the computer. Okay. So here in the computer, you're going to open your rendering engine or your tab where you're going to create all your layers. Um, you're going to put all your materials, your gold, your stones. Um, if you're going to create your ground plane, this is where you do it. Okay. And the second thing you need open is here where you put your animation builder. Okay. So once you apply everything, just make a couple of tries of a quick render before we start making our video. So, it's kind of there. It's pretty cool. Um, there's that background. Let's try to put it here because this is, this is the best, um, area to create that, to see that light. Okay. That's much better. Let's see. I'm using 600 by 600 to create those pictures. It looks pretty good. And I'm not using that much of higher resolution because I'm going to post this on Instagram or any other type of social media it compresses it a lot so i don't need to have like something that's going to take like five hours to render where it's going to compress it down to 720. um so it's very important that if you if you're going to make this render for social media don't make it like 1024 by 1024 or even 800 by 800 is acceptable but if you look at the the time it's going to uh to the time that it's going to take you to render this is going to be a lot more. You see, it's taking a little bit longer. Now imagine that you do 360 pictures of this rotating. It's going to take a long time. So it's not necessary to go super high resolution for something that you're going to render just for social media. Now, if you want to, and you're going to leave it overnight, that's perfect. But sometimes, I just need to send a customer something real quick. So this is the best way to do it. Okay. Let's bring it down to 600 by 600, even 500 by 500 is acceptable. But I think for this, it's perfect. Now this computer, it's a little bit of overkill. It's a AMD 12 core, 24 threat, and it has a 12 gigabyte uh, video GPU. So. Uh, I also have uh, 120 uh, gigs of RAM. So this computer is built and it might be quicker than your computer, but with this old version of Matrix 9, it should be quicker. Now, I don't have a lot of things on it. I'm trying to do it as simple as possible, but I took the liberty to create a little bit of better background. Um, if I switch to my favorite, the white mate background, it's a lot quicker because this one, there aren't a lot of artifacts around it. Now it's going to be brighter, but you can see it's a lot quicker when you're going to do all your frames. Okay. All right. So for this render, I went 800 by 800, which is here. This is the resolution I use. Uh, and another thing that I did is I use a lot of frames. So knowing your how many frames you're going to put in this in in your entire video the more the frames you put the better the video is okay so you already have your scene let's start with that as long as you're happy with that render that's the most important so i use the um white to black reflective brush so that's the background i like for this video so i apply it and i render i look at it okay perfect that looks great. Once you're happy with the way the render looks and kind of the position that you're going to like it, we're going to go to the second step, which is how you put your cameras or the animation. Okay. So I'm going to put it in very simple terms. Okay. So you need this, um, take off the lights or the background. Okay. So you, you need two things for this render. You need two circles as simple as that. So one circle is going to be for your camera and the other circle, which is the smaller one, control M it's going to be for your target. These two are very important. Okay. And then we're going to move into the animation. So here in the animation, you're going to change it from fixed circle to follow path. Okay. 
the bigger circle is going to be your camera so you select the curve and you put it on camera then you select the inner circle and then you're going to put it as target okay and then you're going to test here the frames we're going to move on to this other area but for that we're just going to test how it rotates okay let me explain to you in simple terms what the camera will look like so if i move it around here and i keep rotating my frames see it goes back to that spot so let's turn on our background and let's go and render it so i i test it that way i put the camera and i go a couple of frames and i render again okay that looks pretty good then i go let's say three fourths of the way and i render again just to see the reflections if i'm gonna like it see now it's creating this environment as it turns it's not just like plain black and you can see the brushing in here which is really really cool okay so now let's go halfway and i render it again you can use it with less frames you can use it with four frames if you want to but since this is going to be a long video see now it's wider um i went ahead and created something a lot longer just to show you what you can do with v-ray and matrix 9 see this is this this section is going to take a lot longer because it's doing the shadows so sometimes with white mate or anything in this mate is going to be a lot quicker with backgrounds that have a lot more reflection is going to take longer so have that in consideration okay all right that's pretty good then we go three quarter um three quarters of the way all right it's starting to get dark and it's going to go down to here i'll render it again I really like the background it gets darker again so it's gonna have this small transition where it gets darker wider more reflection to less reflection see this this are gonna take a lot less time to render okay so let me explain to you why do i have this the only thing i need to worry about is my frame count okay so the easiest way to explain it to you is if i go to animation where's the animate or the render uh tab let's go here to render tools okay so the easiest way that i can explain it to you if we go right here to animation setup we're gonna set up path animation okay all right so it's gonna ask me select the camera path so that's gonna be the green circle okay and then it's gonna ask me for the target we're gonna do the same we're gonna select that green uh line we're gonna do depending on how much you want it to take 360 frames is acceptable i went ahead and doubled it i did 720 but let's just use 360 so you can see kind of what the animation is going to do for you now this is not going to animate and render it it's just going to show you what the camera does and how the frames are going to look together usually this is where i test if i want something that is quick or i want something like a lot slower so let's start with 360 which i think it should be the baseline for an okay rendering okay and i'm gonna put okay Okay, let's go back right here to the render let's go back and let's i don't need to turn on the background now because i'm just going to press play and let's just go to animation preview so this is how quick the animation is going to be when it's done not what is processing it's just what is going to look like when it's done okay so if i double that to 720 watch what happens let's go again go to animation setup let's go again set up path animation okay let me go back outside select that one and then select this one it's gonna ask me again now let's go 720 so 720 frames 720 pictures let's click enter now let's press play or preview animation oh, it's a lot slower and this is a little bit more less rush but it's gonna take twice as much time that's the only difference now let's double the frames okay done now let's go even further let's do um what's that uh 14 1440 again we go animation setup set up path animation click the bigger one is the outside target it's this one okay for this one let's go 1440 and instead of wire let's go shade it so we can get 
a better look. Let's turn on the background. And this is what's gonna look like if you put it all together. Preview. It's a lot slower, a lot smoother. I like this. Just wait for it. It's gonna do a 360 because it's just a circle path. Rig Depending how you want the path, you can do an ellipse, which it goes down and up. And that's going to look a lot better. But for this video, I'm just going to do a circle so you can have a look of what you can do with the animator. And this is kind of basically it. This is how you set up your video. And then for the last step, we're going to compile all the pictures or all the frames we made and then make the video out of it. So go ahead, set it up, um, find what's the right spot for your frames. Um, don't do it here. You're going to do it here. You're going to set up your camera here, which is going to be the bigger circle and your target. It's going to be the inner circle. Once you have it set up, make sure you go to file name, create your folder. I just call it frames. I go in there and I label it. So I put my folder or whatever I put in. I just put frames because I put all my files in the folder where I make my video so make sure you have your path and you remember where you have it okay once that's done just click save I already done this so now we're going to go to the next step it's let's hide this and let's go right into animation which is going to be here where's the movie animator right here matrix movie maker okay we're going to open that up and you're going to have this and this is we're going to where you're going to load all your files so let's go here and add your files. Remember where you put it. Frames. Okay. And once you have it, you're going to have something like this. You can select all of them if you want. Um, usually what I do is I just select the pictures. So 720, I'm going to select just the pictures. I don't select anything else for this scene and just click open. Once you have them here, I wait until it loads all the pictures. Okay. And all I have to do is select all and create the video. I don't change anything about this. I just wanted to process all my pictures. Um, I don't go on the watermark. I don't put opacity. I don't change anything because I can do all that or add letters after in DaVinci Resolve, which is a program that is free. So let's just hit create and voila, you're going to get a video pretty soon. Uh, okay, where I want to put my frames. Let's go back to video and let's just name it YouTube video test 720 800 X by 800 so I know at least the resolution that I use Space 800 and hit enter and you just wait um, It's gonna give you a video pretty soon all right, there it is. It's actually on my big screen. All right, so, wow, it's a big video. Let's bring it smaller. Okay, let's take this out now. And now the video, it's gonna look something like this. You can see the reflections. It's actually pretty smooth. I really like what the video looks like it's like kind of like in water the reflections it's pretty good and this is using matrix 9 so even though it's an older software at least you understand what frames are and how to turn around kind of a quick render or well, at least to render right now it's looping it looks longer because it's just looping around it but a lot of software, they have this, uh, this same principles. Um, just test a few still renders, you know, at the beginning, uh, one fourth of the way, halfway, three quarters of the way, and at the end. And once you see kind of what it looks like, you're gonna have to commit to that. Uh, let's just say you're gonna have to commit to that render. And once you kind of get used to it, for the most part, you're going to get really good results uh, all the time, or well, at least presentable. Remember that you need to have a really good uh, model to to render. And as you can see, I didn't even use diamonds. I never use the diamonds on, on, on Matrix 9. I use Moissanite. 
and um, a lot of my customers have I've seen they react better to the moissanite color than the actual diamond color for some reason and then here you can add any effects that you want now you can leave it a loop but if you want this video to be even longer you can drop it on davinci resolve and kind of put it three four times i don't know you can make this video longer it's about 17 let's see i think it's 20 seconds let me see how long is this video so 14 seconds which is just about what i do in other programs i'll be between 15 to 20 seconds is the max that i would do a video because they can i can loop it um or depending how much resolution i want in it the slower it is um or the more frames that you have is the there's a smoothness to it you know if you do 360 it might look a little bit not that great but at least 360 is the minimum that i start with okay all right, friends, I hope that this video was helpful for you and how to create a turntable or video turntable in Matrix 9. You can use a lot of the same concepts with other software like Keyshot, Mavericks. Um, it's just the process is going to be kind of different, but at least you know how to preview it. Let's just say in Rhino and how to set up so you've seen very quickly so you can test it okay all right so if you're really serious about taking your rendering skills to another level i have a course that is in pre-sale right now depending on when you're watching this video it might be already live but if today you want to you say this this is a great tutorial but i want to take my renderings to another level you can look at it in the description below there's a link to my course um, it's in discount right now and if you are in the pre-sale phase you're gonna get a massive discount over to 80% off on that course depending on when you're watching this video now if you still need help my contact information is in the description in the description we can set up a video meeting and I can at least give you pointers of how to make your renderings better but for the most part this course is not for everybody because you need to do your homework meaning you need to practice a lot the concepts where i'm going to show you exactly all the steps that i take to from creating that a model that looks realistic all the way to how i create materials and if you're the person that is just looking for a couple clicks and render this might not be the course for you but at least you know you know that there's a course where i'm gonna show you all the little secrets and tips and from the beginning before i start the rendering all the way to how i finalize renderings also this course is focused on efficiency not something that is going to take you hours and weeks to create a render this is high quality videos with a short period of time where there's a formula that within years of experience in trying to render trying to render i have found those little secrets that make my renderings a little bit more realistic and also more efficient where i don't have to wait weeks days you know within a few hours you get really high quality renderings so make sure you go into the description and you take a look at the website um and take advantage of the discount because it's not going to be there for long so if you need to contact me my information is in the description you can also follow me on instagram i look at some of my work and i would love to meet with you and actually share with you some of the companies that i have worked with thank you friends for watching this video if you have a comment or a suggestion you can do it in the comment section below don't forget to hit that bell button so youtube lets you know every time we make new tutorials or new videos if you need help, you know where to contact me. I'll talk to you soon, friends. I'll see you in another video. Ciao.